Hey guys, it's October, and this will be the new episode of the Yowie Corner. Uh, so today, the series I will be talking about is Kizuna Bonds of Love. It is an older anim- an older manga. Uh, I believe it was brought out originally in Japan, or it started in Japan in 98. Um, the artist and story by, is by Kazuma Kadoka, who also does Border and um, Bad Teacher, I believe, or her other two series. There might be one more in the mix. I just, I'm not sure at the moment. So I will show you the books I have. I am currently still missing volumes seven and eight. Um, I did not find that out until after AX, so I wasn't able to get that volume when I saw it there because I thought I had the whole series, but then I finished it once I came back. So here's volume one. Please don't fall. Volume two. You can tell just by the covers of the books I'm showing right now by Be Beautiful. This is a manga that... Well, this publisher is no longer in business. It's one of the older Yaoi publishers. Here's volume three. Uh, this manga, um, I'm sorry, this publisher published up to book eight and then they went bust. Here's four. And so they never finished the series. Uh, Kizuna is 11 volumes long. And just around 2012, I believe, uh, June picked it up and brought out, no, uh, that was volume five, Omnibus versions of two-in-ones, and I thought they were three-in-ones when I originally ordered the one I, the couple I have. Here's volume six. Oh my goodness. Oh, sorry. Then I have volume five in the June omnibus. So they're very nice quality omnibuses. And you can tell just from looking at these two, the style changed drastically. And then the final one of their own, of June's volume six. All right, so I will leave up the two June ones, so hold on. Okay, so I did a little research now. So Kizuna actually started in 1992, and the last volume in Japan came out in 2008, so there was a, there's was there been 16 years between volume one to volume 11. Um, and we did not start getting these until, like I said, the early, in the 90s, and then June finally finished it uh, just a couple years ago. All right, so there's two stories in Kizuna, and there are two, like I said, two stories, so there's two couples. One is Ranmaru and Ke, Ke Iyoji, and then the other one is Kai and Masa Akrai. So the story is, the first main story is of Ranmaru and Ke, or Ran and Ke, which is easier to say, and Ran is a kendo prodigy. And he's all about Kendo, and that's all he cares about. And Kay is just a smart mouth little boy. They met when they were children, and Kay was instantly infatuated with Ron. He had no idea why. He just knew he wanted to get to know him, and he just wanted to be around him. So he keep he challenges Ron in that if he wins the challenge, Ron has to, I believe, kiss him. So Ron was never defeated before in Kendo, and then Kay uh, essentially wins the battle. So Ron has to do whatever Kay says. So it was an interesting beginning. I wasn't too sure how I'd feel about the series. Um, I'm not big into Kendo, and I just recently started getting into sports mangas, but I didn't understand why there would be a sport theme in this manga. And as I further read it, I've learned that sport is actually not the essential theme of it. You think it is in the beginning, but it's not um, as the story progresses. So Ron and Kay's story basically is of them as a young... They are they know each other's children, 
And once they got into middle school, they were split apart and they meet again in high school. And that's where their story officially starts. Um, their story is basically a sweet, not completely sweet, but it is a story of trials and tribulations of a young same-sex couple that no matter what is thrown at them, they do everything they can to stay together. They do have bumps in the road. Every relationship does. Um, I believe Dylan asked me if there is abuse in this relationship or in either of the two relationships. There's no abuse. Honestly, it's just usual, not even hitting. It's, well, there is hitting. Ron is a little physical, okay, but it's more of a joking matter. It's not like, oh my God, he hit him. It's just to make a funny out of the situation because Kay is always, Kay is the goofball in the relationship. So Ron is the serious one. Then the second relationship of Kai and Masa, as you can tell from just these little images right here, Kai is obviously younger. Uh, Masa was entrusted to protect Kai as a toddler when his mother passed away. Since um, Kai and Kay, they're half brothers their father is a Yakuza uh, master. He's the leader of the Yakuza of that group. Uh, Kai, or Kay, I'm sorry, is of a mistress, and Kai is the legit son. So Kay does not live there. He does not want anything to do with the Yakuza. Um, so Kai is entrusted to Masa to be protected, and Masa feels horrible that he starts having these feelings, and he's not sure if they're of love or just protection towards Kai and Kai just the entire time was like, Oh, I love you. And in the beginning, I wasn't quite sure how I felt about that. I, I've read obviously of younger males and older males and Yaoi. And I wasn't sure in the beginning because it's just like an annoying little brother bugging the older brother. And there's actual feelings there, but the older brother is like, no, I don't care. Um, as the story progressed, I really did fall deeply for their story. It is very intertwined with this story somewhat. Um, out of the both stories, I really do like Ron, Ron and Kay's. I really wish she did more of them, but as Kai got older, I really liked his story and how he was blossoming into figuring out who he was in the story and how he feels to Masa. What I really love about the series is that it's 11 volumes long and you do get a feeling of the characters and who they are and how she developed them and how the story progresses along with them that I was really sad to read this volume and even though I'm missing volume 7 and 8 I am going to order it just so I can have it to complete it and I will read it but it was not, I read up to see what those volumes were about and it's nothing crucial to the story plot that I missed out on. Because from what I read from the volume 6 of the Be Beautiful bland brand to the June volume 5 brand, it just seemed like the story just continued even though the art style was different. Because like I was saying, there was 16 years between volume 1 to volume 11. So her art style progressed tr so much. Um, I'll show you a few pictures. Hopefully I don't. So here is the first volume. That's Kai. And that's Kei and Ron. And you can tell like the style's old. It's an old style. And that uh, it's all detailed. And they have buff men with big eyebrows. Because obviously he's the semi. And then... Don't fall. You go over to these ones. Please, no bad pages. And the art style is just so much smoother and it's crisper and clean. And I just, I fell in love with her new style. I think it's so nice. And what I found endearing was that I believe it was in volume, this volume five, that towards the end, they go back to when a side story that uh, Kado... Yeah, Kadoka wrote while she was in the beginning side, and you can see how far she has advanced in her art style. Oh my god, it was so fun to read. And um, this is an adult manga. I believe it's rated 18. 
Yes, it is rating 18 and up, pretty much mature. Um, in the beginning, there is a little bit more raunchy sex scenes. And towards the end, you don't get that because you've learned who the couples are. And you're just like, I just want to know about their personal lives. And if there is that, cool. But you're not looking for it. You're there for the story. Um, this has got to be one of my favorite, my new favorite yaoi's. Um, like I was saying, I, I first... When I first read it, I wasn't too keen. I first read it back when I was in high school uh, about eight years ago. And I was like, oh, that's okay. It's a yaoi. I don't think I'll dive too much into it. And now that I've read it now, I can really, I really enjoyed it. And I'm glad June picked it up and made these gorgeous omnibuses of it. Um, they're All the omnibuses are so nicely put together. The art, the front covers are very nicely depicted. And the one that I'm missing has a picture of Masa, and you can actually see, since he is a Yakuza underboss, he has the full-on dragon tattoo, and she puts so much detail into it, and it has that on the cover, and I can't wait to get it. Um, so I would rate Kizuna about a 5 out of 5 stars. I really, really liked it, and I will definitely read it again once I get the book I'm missing. So yeah. Um, so that's Kizuna, and that's the Yaoi Corner of this month. If you have any recommendations, let me know. I already know which one I'm going to read next, and I will talk to you guys later. See ya!